What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the field weakening feature on my TC500 that I have installed on my Suron with its 60 volt 34 amp hour battery. And I'm also going to do a few top speed runs, each at different field weakening levels, to see if we can hit a top speed of 55 miles an hour with a stock battery. This video is going to be for those of you who are curious about the TC500 and its features like field weakening to help you get an idea of how the feature works and what it could do for your bike with similar specs. So real quick, let's go over the settings and we're only going to be in sport mode, not even going to be touching eco. Alright, so starting out from the top, we are pushing 7.3 kilowatts with the stock battery. We also have 500 amps for the motor current, 120 amps for the battery current. And I got my top speed set and limited to 51 miles an hour. Now I'm going to leave that top speed set to 51 and I'm going to bring the field weakening all the way down to zero to see if we can reach that top speed. The goal today is to get up to 55 miles an hour with field weakening and we're just going to see the effects of it to give you guys an idea of what it's like to run a TC500 with a stock battery and motor. Here we go, this is the top speed test. In sport mode, 7.3 kilowatts. Top speed is set to 51 miles an hour. And the power seems strong enough. Nothing crazy. And we are holding 48 miles an hour. All right, 48 miles an hour with no field weakening, that's the top speed we could get, even though we are set to 51 miles an hour top speed. Without that field weakening, the battery can only push so much. So let's go ahead and bump it up to 10 real quick and see what the top speed is then. Also real quick, I forgot to mention, we are starting out at 100%. We had 66 volts at 100% just before that pull, but now we got 64 volts. The motor temperature is 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see what the battery temperature is at. The battery is at 88 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're good. Nothing too crazy there. So let's bump up the field weakening to 10. We're also gonna be trying to get up to 55 miles an hour towards the end of this video with more field weakening. But right here it says, we recommend limiting the current to below 50 amps to minimize potential drawback. So it says right here, field weakening has its advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages is more speed and more torque on the high speed. Some of the disadvantages would be less range obviously and increased motor temperature. So those are some things to keep in mind when it comes to using field weakening. Okay, I raised the top speed to 55 miles an hour to see if we can uh, get past 51, and we are at 10 amps of field weakening. Let's see what we get. Forty-nine, fifty. Yeah, that's definitely more power. We got a top speed of 50, and this is a good show of what field weakening can do for a stock battery. Field weakening can pretty much make it feel like you got a new battery. Still pulling at the top end. I'm easily catching up with this truck. All right, so we easily hit 50 miles an hour with 10 amps of field weakening. Now, let's bump it up to 20 and see if we can get past 50 miles an hour. All right, here we go. 20 amps of field weakening, top speed test. It's still 50 miles an hour, but the pull all the way up to 50 miles an hour is definitely stronger. You get there a lot quicker with 20 amps of field weakening. Actually, without field weakening, this bike leaves me wanting a little bit more power when it comes to commuting and keeping up with traffic if I need to. But with field weakening, as long as you have it 
to a, at least like 20, even 10 amps of field weakening. You're guaranteed to be hitting 50 miles an hour with no problem and you got enough torque on the high end to be able to still pass people if you need to. All right, so after just those few pulls, we are sitting at 92% battery. So that'll give you an idea of how quickly field weakening can also juice your battery. Uh, let's go to 30. And every time you mess with the field weakening, you're always gonna get that warning from Torp and tell you to uh, not exceed 50 amps. So our motor temperature is at 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Our battery is at 104 degrees and we are at 92% battery, 63 volts. And right now we have 30 amps of field weakening. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty two. All right, so holding fifty two miles an hour solid with thirty amps of field weakening, which is pretty sick. All right, so after that pull with thirty amps of field weakening and a top speed of 52 miles an hour, we went from 92% battery and we dropped to 87% battery, 62 volts. So field weakening definitely juices your battery, especially if you're running a stock battery. So use it with caution and uh, use it sparingly because you don't wanna leave yourself stranded. All right, now I said I was gonna try and get it up to 55 miles an hour. So let's bump it up to 40 amps and see the top speed then with 87% battery. Still 52. So even with 40 amps of field weakening, I'm still only able to reach 52 miles an hour with a stock battery, which is not bad. These bikes are rated at around 45 to 48 miles an hour with a stock battery. And considering the 60 volts that come with the Suron are pretty much I don't know, they're, they're kind of becoming dinosaurs at this point. That's some pretty good performance that I can get out of this battery with a controller upgrade from Torp. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna bump it up to 50 because I do not want to mess up my battery or damage my motor. So we're gonna drop it back down to 20 amps of field weakening. And we're just gonna have a little bit of fun now and do some wheelies and see what's up. 84% battery. 60 volts so after just not even 30 minutes of riding and doing those few pulls we've already dropped nearly 20 percent right now i'm at 83 percent and it's only been a few pulls field weakening will easily juice your battery so like i said use it sparingly don't want to become stranded If you enjoyed this video and or you learned anything from it, drop a like, leave your comments down below, and subscribe for more videos. I really want to bring more emotos to the channel now that everyone's coming out with new bikes. I have my eyes set on the MX-5. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.